Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. Back again. Thought I'd do an update of the um, the garden, the permaculture in the garden, and then an update on the barn that we're tearing down. We're probably, I don't know what, 75% done yeah. getting the barn. It's all on the ground now. Been hauling it in. Obviously, a lot of cleanup and stuff to, to do on the reclaimed uh, lumber. But man, we've got some amazing, especially over here, I don't know if you can see kind around here. There's some amazing uh, old seasoned wood and stuff. So we'll be doing a whole whole lot with that. We're going to be getting on the building thing. But right oh, now. For the garden? Yeah, let's go and check out the garden. And then I got this. It's the one trailer I picked up. I pulled back windows because I'm going to use them on the. Uh, Building that little uh, solar dehydrator. And I pulled the two back windows. I'm going to use those on my little dehydrator. And then I'm turning this thing completely down and going to build a little cabin thing on it. So it'll be a little cabin on wheels. And then. That's a pretty cool shirt you got on there. And then this, uh, coming along on this. Uh, Plastic. We uh, actually, I got the. Cause this is where I laid the cardboard. You can see it. I need to. I'm gonna mow down the grass and all that. And the, um, getting the wimps. I gotta get the fence up. Our seeds. We probably got what 40% of our seeds have germinated. Germinated mm -hmm. and um, got sprouting and everything. So we gotta get got this garden thing going. Um, the temperatures here are going nuts today. It's supposed to be almost 80. Tomorrow's supposed to be almost 90 degrees up here, which is like 30 degrees above normal. And then by Sunday, it's supposed to be back down to 57. And as you see in the last video, the morels are popping, so we're trying to fit all that in. And just crazy busy on the homestead. But anyway, so we got the, what I've decided to do with the plastic is we were going to go ahead and plant through it. But as, uh, Going along here, you know, it's starting to um, die and all that, so I'm going to rake this up, and then I'm going to lay newspaper down, so we're going to roll the tarps, or the plastic up, and lay newspaper down, and then I'm going to chip with my chipper in the cottonwood, and I'm going to chip over the top of the uh, uh, newspaper, so we're going to do that instead, so... Might still grow a little bit through the plastic, but for the most part, I think we're going to end up getting rid of it. So, and then that all oh, the fence. When I say I've got this laid out, because I'm going to do the uh, what do you call it again? The waddle fence. The uh, oh, that's a waddle fence. Yeah. Right? yeah. The waddle fence. And I got to get all the material and stuff for that. But before we start planting anything out here, the deer are back, man. We've got a herd that's running around seven deer. You know, they'll come in and just demolish this. And so, like, across here where I'm going to build TNT's little deal here, I actually got these panels that I picked up. They're, like, portable pallets from a grocery store that I got. I'll show you one here. It's just, like, just an instant. Look at these things, man. There's some kind of crates that they had that brought stuff in. So those, I'm going to end up putting them up. And we've had here. we've had these for several several years, and we actually put chicken wire and made boxes for our chips right, right. with them. Yeah. So we've re yeah, reused them a couple different them times. Down on the flatlands, yeah. And hauled them up here. So I'm going to put these up, put some plants posts in here, get these up, and then continue around with the um, wattle fence. But I got to get this all uh, protected so that we don't have any uh, issues with the deer eating all my stuff. The other issue we got is we got tons of, what are you doing? We got tons of quail on here, so we need to, uh, you know, watch them little mothers, too. That's it. So that's pretty much just a check-in on the... We got a new tree over there. The garden over there and the permaculture. I don't know if you want to walk over yeah. there. But yeah, we ended up, we did get a, um, a uh, prune tree, which is Kitty Makes. Man, we dry our prunes, man. They're, man, they're wonderful. Wonderful. You gonna walk right through my garden? Oh, I didn't yeah. even realize it. I did. I stepped on your right, see, I gotta get tips. We got a little prune tree. 
And the plan, and actually we were going to put this on that side because the plan is eventually, you know, years down the road is going to take a lot of work. But from here all the way out there now, I've moved the goats out to that end. And eventually, um, yeah. But eventually, this whole side here will be a garden permaculture. Um, you know, get it rotating over the years. And then on the other side of the road is where we'll end up doing a. Uh, more um, of an orchard? Yeah, an orchard eventually. Mm -hmm. And then I'd like to pond up some water down on yeah. this side. It's down the road. So. Say hey to Red. Adios. You lost your phone? Yeah. Uh oh. Probably in the chicken crap. <laughs> but, uh, so anyway, I think that was pretty for me off there. So we're going to have an orchard on that side with a little pond area there down the road, and this will all be the permaculture and garden area. And, and as you can see, there's much more sun here than down in the creek bottom, where yeah, we, tried, so yeah, where we, we tried have, it. We should have a really good garden yeah. this year. Yeah, it should be a good know, turnout. It's be a lot, you know, then when you're dealing with the grass and playing with it. We figure this year, I'm going to go ahead, look at that cat over there. In our bed. Yep. Get it. Get her out. <laughs> But uh, I don't even own a cat. That's crazy. She just came along. That's what we call her crazy. She's, She's crazy. A stray cat. And now she thinks she owns though. a cab and she keeps finding ways in there. And the black one, it's still running around here too. But which, they're supposed to be keeping the mice down. Then I started buying cat food for them and now I did set mouse traps. Oh, they're not your night. cats? And no, they're not. That's what I just said. They're not even my cats. Food for well, I started buying <laughs> cat food because I thought they were going to help out with the mice, but obviously I had to set mice traps because now they're getting too full. They want to sit around and be fat, lazy cats. So anyway, so the whole plan with the garden this year, but kind of what we uh, uh, figured for this year, with these, the three with the plastic, and then this whole area here, which I'm actually going to start working on today, um, you know, we can grow enough food in this area here enough to get us through till next season you know and then of course I'm gonna plant some stuff up on the eventually that'll be strawberries but I think we're gonna grow some some flowers on top and then have the cucumbers and squash go up the uh, sunflowers this year and I'm gonna go ahead and do this fence so then next year we'll work into this and then if we even get to go farther then I'm gonna make this fence where I can you know move it expand and do all that but. just to curb any curiosity anybody might have. What's the fencing there behind you with all the T-Pos? Oh yeah, that's uh, old Red, you know, because Red lives on the, um, he doesn't, you know, he's, you know, he's been a long, long uh, he's been friends for ever, you know, he's like a brother, but uh, not the most, if you've seen any of the other videos, not the most uh, a uh, go-getter type of thing, you know, but Anyway, when we decided to do this, you know, and I told Rick, he just ain't really got anybody. You know, we're, we're pretty much all the family he's got. He's got a sister and stuff, but for the most part, you know, we're the only family he's got. So we bought this piece of property. Um, told him, well, you can just come up there with us. So that little area over there, you know, is Red's little area. I think it's kind of hidden in the bushes Yeah, you there. can't really see it, but that's that's his, his area. His hole. <laughs> so that's Red's little hole. Well... When he sees me out doing gardens and stuff like that, he'll get, you know, wants to participate. Uh, yeah, off his off his patootie, and he'll get up and get a little uh, energy and jump out. Well, which, yeah, I mean, I just let old Red do what he wants to do. But uh, you put that. Look at all them T-posts. That is unreal. <laughs> so that's his and garden. You could remove about half of those, but that's just to protect. He's got I don't know 20 rhubarb plants in there that his sister gave him. You know, which is awesome yeah. and stuff. I just like to see him get out there and do it. And then I tried to, you know, we've tried to involve him in the whole from the beginning. Really tried to get him involved, but you know, man, I love him, but he's just he's just lazy, man. You know, <laughs> sorry, he's just a lazy, and he'll admit it. He'll be the first one to admit it. You know, he just is, uh... He does just, what he wants to do. Yep, and I mean, he's retired just and all thing. that, man. Yeah. And if he wants to just sit in there and watch TV, that's okay with me, man. But anyway, so when he... You know, I tried to include him in this, too. We've tried to include him in everything from the, you know, the whole thing. And 
Anyway, when he see me out here doing this, so he did lay a piece of plastic, and he's got a he's got one that's about square like that, that laid out there. So he's gonna we'll see if he keeps plant it going. Some tomatoes, but maybe yeah, he's or something. Plant a little garden over there. So hopefully he does, man. Yeah. And I worry about him and you Not know being all of them. A lot of them retire and stuff, you know, and you know, uh, man, it's proven fact in science and stuff, man. You shouldn't sit more than three hours a day. And boy, him and my mom, my grandma, everybody sits for, and the portion of their day, it worries me. But anyway, so I like seeing him get out and do that stuff, but, you know, just like you just seen him here, I mean, that's, we'll see him, you know, I let him put the chickens up just so that I know he's alive. Yeah. That's how I check on him to make sure if, uh, uh, if my chicken's out in the morning, you know, I know he's, he's up and getting around and then he'll lock her up at night, but. Anyway, that's about enough of that. So, I was going to just do a quick one, and you turned this one into a longer one. Just kidding. Yeah, it's only 11 minutes. Oh. All right, so you all have a wonderful day, and I'm sure the next video will be back up. We'll be back up mushroom hunting. We're going to go work on the barn a little bit this afternoon. Obviously, not for too long. It's just going to be pretty warm out there. And then tomorrow morning, first thing... Um, We'll be back on the barn, and we should have it ding there, knocked out other than piling it up and all that. What, am I keep going? No, I'm going to cough. I'm <laughs> trying to hold it up. All right, so you guys all have a wonderful day. We'll check in real soon.